Former employees and residents living around the Kakuzi Limited have come out to set the record straight on the abuses they suffered at the hands of security personnel of the agricultural company. Kakuzi, however, says they have not heard any cases pertaining to human rights abuses by its staff. Faisal Ahmed has more. These are some of the alleged victims of abuse by Kakuzi Limited security personnel. Each of them insisting that the abuses were mated by employees of the listed firm. At the center of their tribulation, they say, is a contention over a road that the agricultural producer allegedly fenced off cutting the residents. British law firm Lay Day said on Sunday that it had initiated legal action against UK firm Camellia, the majority shareholder in Kakuzi, over the abuse. The lawsuit filed on behalf of 79 victims at London's High Court accuses Kakuzi of employing security guards alleged to have perpetrated horrific abuses since 2009. They include killings, rape, attacks and false imprisonment. Human rights activist Davis Malobe says the attempt to file a lawsuit locally was met with hurdles. Okay, the political strategy ya kupanga wananchi polisi wanakuja tena kazi. Mkienda kotini wanakuja na male mawakili wakubwa 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 ambao wada make sure kwamba kesi yenu haita na male. But Kakuzi has maintained that all these are part of a smear campaign mounted by its competitors. They added not a single complaint has been filed with them by the alleged victims. A lot of them remain unclear to us, they remain unknown to us. But even today, if any of these people decided that they wanted to speak to Kakuzi about these issues, Kakuzi would be more than willing to discuss these issues. UK supermarket giant Tesco suspended the supply of avocados from Kakuzi following the accusations. The retailer is one of Kakuzi's biggest clients and sources thousands of its moranga-grown avocados every year. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.